This is Dan Davies with Ablink Smart Living Technologies with another four minute tutorial on Ablink Wayfinder. Today we're going to look at creating a new route with the Wayfinder app. There are two ways to create routes for use with Wayfinder. One is by using our web based application, the Smart Route Builder. The second is creating the route with Wayfinder itself. So let's get started. The first time you launch Wayfinder, there won't be any routes on the device. You can either create routes yourself or download them from a smart route library. Now, before we look at the specific steps for creating the route, let's talk about planning the route. Let's think about planning a trip from home to work. Let's say the traveler needs to leave home from Black Maple Drive, walk down to New Life Drive and catch the bus. At that time, they ride on the bus to InterQuest Parkway follow that over here, and then get off the bus about here. They'll then walk this road to get to their job at the Colorado Mountain Brewery. So you might have several instructions, one at the beginning to tell them to walk to the bus stop around here, another one at the location where they get on the bus, you might provide them a little feedback as they're traveling to let them know how long they have before they get to work. Then you want to tell them when to ring the bell to tell the driver that they want to stop. Once the bus stops, you'll provide walking instructions for them to get to work. At each of these waypoints, you can record an audio instruction, capture a picture, and also put text on the screen if that's beneficial to the person. Now let's take a look at exactly how you would create this route with Wayfinder. Tap and hold the route icon to get into the route builder. Before you begin creating your route, make sure you are physically at the location of where you would like the route to begin. On the bottom of the page is a new button. Tap the new button to create your route. In the route title field at the top, type a name for the route. You don't need to use the Capture GPS Location button because the location is already captured each time you start a route and add a new location. Record a selection audio to help the individual identify the route on the main menu. Here is my trip to work. Touch this button again to select it. The route instruction audio is used once the route is selected to provide any final instructions before the individual begins the route. For example, Make sure you have your backpack ready to go before you head out on your trip. When you're ready, press the Start button to begin. Now select an image for the route that the user will use to identify the route on the main menu. You can use the camera button to take a picture or select an image from the library of pictures that are already on the device. For the route image, we recommend selecting a picture of the destination of the trip so that it makes it easier for the user to identify the route. Now you're ready to add your first travel instruction. When you press the Add First Location button, be ready to speak the instruction that you'd like to record. Walk down to the corner bus stop. Add a text description for the location, which will be displayed to the user along with the picture when they arrive at that location. Select an image for the location, either by using the camera and taking a picture, or selecting a previously taken picture from the library. Use the default button to select from several commonly used images that are useful when creating routes. Now physically travel to the next location on the route where you would like the next travel instruction to be presented. When you arrive there and are ready to record your next instruction, press the Add Another button. Now wait here for bus number 25. You can re-record your audio by pressing the record button again. By default, the repeat audio option is turned on. This will cause the instruction to continue to repeat until the user presses the OK button when they arrive at the destination. For now, leave the Not Your Stop waypoint unchecked. We'll talk about that more in another session. Continue to travel your route and record instructions in the same way until you arrive at the destination. When you're at the destination, press the Finish Route button and save your route.
When you return to the main menu, your new route will be ready to test. It's always important to test out your route after you've created it in case you need to make any adjustments. That's a quick summary of how to create a route with the Wayfinder app. Thanks for listening.